Looks like we got another Elden Ring trailer, boys. Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree Story trailer. Uh, this just came out today. Um, I gotta tell you, man, I, I don't know if it's because this year hasn't really had, you know, too much action. <laughs> you know, really all that, too many games to talk about. But it's like, as the months go on, I'm actually getting excited for this like i really am this is probably if i can remember like there's really not a lot of other games that i'm thinking of buying this year this might be the last game slash dlc that i'm actually really looking forward to um Elden Ring. <laughs> so yeah, this DLC is supposed to come out uh, next month, June 21st. Um, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this DLC. Uh, some of my Twitch viewers uh, was asking, Yo, you going to do a real run of an L of an Elden Ring b before the DLC drop? I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not the bro. El Elden Ring is a massive game i don't feel like i no, I, I did kind of want to get back into some souls game before this uh dlc comes out and i haven't played bloodborne in years so i was thinking before this dlc dropped just to you know warm up the reflexes warm up the vocal cords warm up the level of iq that i might get back on bloodborne again and stream that on on a, my, a twitch you know but uh and then and, and then plus just recently seeing uh uh kai's black ass <laughs> a stream you know his elden ring uh you know uh play it through and seeing how many times it's like a die to a millennia it was like man did did, did. So again say what you want about elden ring i feel like over the years in these past two years since uh since it came out back in 2022 this game has like i i i've, I've never seen so many people like almost all on the same side of like praising this game like it seems like this game gets no slander like gamers from all across the world it don't matter on what on what platform you play on like we all love it we all appreciate it you don't really see games today get like the type of love that l that elden ring gets so it's nice to see um but yeah let's uh, check out this uh elden ring shadow of the earth tree story trailer um this is going to be an expansion. It's going to cost forty dollars. From what I'm hearing, that this freaking expansion might be as big as you know the freaking base game was. So I'm very excited, you know, to hop back into Eld in, in, into Elden Ring because I have not played this game since I uh, beat it <laughs> back in 2022. So Peggy sixteen. Peggy sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> From software. Yeah, I might return to like Bloodborne or something for this, just to beginning. get back into the Souls vibe. The seduction and the betrayal. They go that OST. An affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. A hey, quick question for us Souls players. Out of all of the Souls games that From Software has gave us, 
What has been your favorite DLC that they've done? Leave it down in the comments section below. For me personally, I'm gonna probably have to say that old Hunter's DLC in Bloodborne. That DLC was amazing. It had great boss fights, but you know, with the Souls games, a freaking Elden Ring with a, a, a freaking Sekiro, you know, name your favorite uh, From Software Souls DLC. Purge without grace or honor. The tyranny of Mesmus Flame. I'm ready for more toxic boss fights. <laughs> I'm ready. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh, his blinding strength, even his fate. But we are not to kill. We choose to follow. Oh, squad it up. <laughs> Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. June 25th, 2025. And I always like the cover for this. The freaking cover for this DLC is raw. Like, <laughs> just that man freaking sitting in the freaking chair with the freaking background. Like, that. that is a raw cover. Um. So, yeah, again, I will be getting this DLC the day it drops, my brothers and sisters. I feel like we all will be getting this uh DLC. Um. And, man, listen, again... Say what you want about from software, because I know some some of people feel like all of their games are like the same, and they play and play and, and uh, they play the same. I mean, you can say that, <laughs> you can say that, but hey, say whatever you want about from from software. I think one thing we can all agree on for the past few years now is from software has been killing it. They have been killing it with their games man uh every single time they drop a game like it works <laughs> it freaking works there's a lot of content in of uh, the game they uh, don't they uh, don't try to freaking shice you with a whole bunch of day one content that are uh, you you uh, you could buy as soon as the game game drop and you put your 70 dollars into a game and you greet it with a season pass this and skins here and all that like they don't do none of that stuff all from software does is do what they do better than probably anybody else when it comes to this genre to this genre of games they put it out it has a lot of content they fade off into the background you know never to be seen again until they got something else to show off so hey no from software slander man they have been killing it as of late and i feel like that's why their games and just their image has been like put on a pedestal these past few years because they are consistently great with what they uh, do so that's what i got to say about that but yeah that Edel, that elden ring shadow of the earth tree uh i will be playing and i might get back into elden ring a little bit but i really feel like after you play like souls games like after 
the few years you don't really you just really need to get back on like the timing of like stuff so i feel like i can play like any souls game really and kind of practice before this jump come out that's why i don't feel like i necessarily have to get back on elden ring because it's all about like timing and being patient in these games so i could get back on bloodborne i could get back on sekiro i could get back on the demon souls remake like it really don't matter but probably because i ain't get on bloodborne in a minute and we all been waiting for that bloodborne remaster that ain't never going to happen I'm probably going to get back on that <laughs> for a little bit before June 21st comes. And if you would like to see that, come up through on my uh, Twitch stream and, you know, we can relive some great moments of Bloodborne. And then, you know, when this Earth Tree DLC drop, of course, I will be streaming that and uploading some content. Uh, but yeah, man, where are y'all, uh, I mean, what are y'all, uh, thoughts about this story trailer? This is my reaction to that Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, what y'all expectations for when that DLC drop. Uh, all of this from software love that's been going around these past two years. Y'all leave all y'all thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until my next video, my brothers and sisters, I'll catch your boys in my next one, all right?